Hello and welcome back to Miss Hewlett's music class. Today is Monday and I have a couple of different activities for you today. We are going to work on moving our bodies because especially if we're stuck inside for so long, it's kind of tough to want to move our body. So here's some ideas. The first one is our warm up: head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. This next time, let's see if you can sing it for us. I'm still going to sing so we know exactly where our steady beat is, but you use a singing voice along with Miss Hewlett this time. Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Alrighty, last time through, if you haven't gotten the singing and the movements down yet, Here's your chance. Do your best singing voice as well. That's your challenge. Okay? Here we go. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Nice job. Give yourself a round of applause. Good job! Alrighty, next, you have a challenge, okay? And it is to make shapes with your body, okay? So the first round is fairly easy, okay? I'll give that to you, but you can make these shapes with your fingers. So like if I had a triangle, I could probably do something like this, or you can do it with your arms maybe, or with your whole body is even better. Okay, so that's your challenge. However you would like to make your shape, go for it. Okay, do your absolute best. So your first shape is a circle. Okay, how are you going to make a shape with your body that's a circle? Hmm, think about it. You've got 10 seconds left to figure it out. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty, there's your circle pose. Nice job. Next, we've got a rectangle. Ooh, this one's kind of tough because you have to have some long sides and some short sides. So let's see what you come up with. Figure out your rectangle shape. And let's do slow mo. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Good job. There's your rectangle shape. Next. We've got a triangle. Ooh, so I showed you some ideas at the, at the beginning of this exercise as to how you're going to make a triangle, but let's see what you come up with. My kindergartners were pretty creative yesterday. You've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. There you go, there's your triangle shape. Good job, keep going. Here's our last one for the first round, okay? Make a square. Ooh, this one's a little different from the rectangle because all of the sides are the same, right? So try to figure out what you might wanna do to make a square this time. In 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Freeze in your square shape. Good job. That is the end of round one, but there's more. Now you've got a challenge, okay? These ones are kind of odd, but I like to see all of your ideas and your creativity. So let's see what you come up with. 
This first one says something though. Okay, what does this say? We talked about it in some of my earlier videos, or if you're in my class, we talked about it before we went on this long break. Okay, it says do, right? Do you remember the name of this kind of a note though? It's a quarter note, right? So the name is quarter note. What it says is do, okay? Those are two different things. Alrighty. So let's make a quarter note with your body. See how you do. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job. Okay, it's going to get a little bit more challenging though, okay? This one's kind of like the quarter note, except there are two heads instead of one. Do you remember what this one says? Starts with a do, right? So we have do, day, okay? Remember, that's just in Rollins' talk, though. If your music teacher tells you that they say something different, go with what they say, okay? But in Rollins, we say do, day, okay? Alrighty, and what's the name of these kind of notes? Starts with an E, right? Eighth notes, okay? Eighth notes. So their name is what? Eighth notes. And what do they say? Do they, okay? Make an eighth note or two eighth notes with your body. Let's see how you do. In ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Freeze in your pose if you can. If you're on one foot, that might be kind of tough, but do your best to freeze. Okay, and now you can hold it. Alrighty, last one. Here we go. Okay, this one is not a note, actually. It's a kind of a rest. Okay, because it's a rest, what does it say? right? Yeah, it says shh. So for the name, we know that it's a kind of a rest, but what's the specific kind of rest that it is? It's a quarter rest, right? So we have a quarter rest that says shh. Let's see what you do to make it with your body. This one was kind of cool to watch my kindergartners come up with, so I'd love to see your ideas too. Alrighty, you've got 10 seconds. I'm going to count you down really fast. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, freeze. There you go. That was your final challenge. Good job today. Holy cow, you are so creative. Good job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Not just a round of applause because that was pretty tough and pretty creative too. Alrighty. That is all I have for you today. Have a fantastic Monday, and I will see you tomorrow.